Alrighty then. Let me just have a quick look. Uh, what's left? task. Oh, I didn't want to multitask, but here we are. So I can get you. So it is just clearly. Okay. and play two games at once.
Alright. So that is Whiskash. You're now done. down for a fight. That's fine. We'll start by beating up Wally. Um, what do I want to do for experience? trade, I think. Start link with two players, yes.
So that is Dusclops. Yes, I'm sure it was. Let's have a look now. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a dude in a suit. Oh, my word. Wow. <laughs> right. It's like a piece of grass. People believe anything, dear. It looks like grass. Probably because it is grass. It doesn't just look like it. The illusion of grass. No, it is grass. <laughs> that's not the illusion of grass. That's the illusion of Bigfoot in grass. <laughs> the illusion of grass is that looks like grass and it isn't. Yeah, that, that's Mm-hmm. Oh dear. You worry me. Of course it was. Yeah, don't go. Next. <laughs> Honestly. Oh. It's a premonition to their future child. Because it's not fucking real. Uh, given it's a green image and the arrow's red, I'm not having much luck there. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, there was no arrow there either. <laughs> yeah, just because it's zoomed in on it doesn't mean I'm going to be able to see it. Nothing there. No. The image is green and someone's put a red arrow over it. What it's part of colourblind is that hard for you to understand? It's not green. <laughs> yes. It's not green. I don't know that. Stop making fun of my disability. Because it is. Ordering a moving train, looking at some tumbleweed. Because <laughs> you're just fascinated by it. Yeah, I'm fascinated by it. 
They're on a moving train. They're not going to get off, are they? Probably a dude in a suit walking through the desert. It'll be a guy in a suit, potentially drunk. Probably drunk. To wear a suit in the desert. Walking past the train. Maybe he's one of them train spotting whack jobs. Past Bigfoot is invisible. That'd be a fucking coincidence, wouldn't it? <laughs> this just in Bigfoot's invisible, and that's why we can't find him. Yeah, I'm sure he does. Just like how God buried fossils of all those creatures he never made. That is just grass. <laughs> Ooh, that grass. <laughs> you probably can't see that. <laughs> That's a dude in a suit. <laughs> that is either a very hairy homeless man or a dude in a suit. However, both of them look like they're taking a shit. <laughs> so congratulations. They have taken a photo of a drunk man popping one out. No, really? Sure as hell wasn't Bigfoot. <laughs> also, we call him Bigfoot. Is that because he's got big feet? How do we know? Honestly. Americans, man. <laughs> Having a shit. <laughs> That's what he's doing sat there in broad daylight. Right, so Shaquille O'Neal, what's your point? <laughs> You're already tiny compared to most people, dear. <laughs> of course it's fuzzy. The day someone happens to stumble across Bigfoot and they've got a tripod in the DLSR is going to be quite impressive. <laughs> yeah. No. You expect too much, dear. I 
I mean, in their defense, they're wrong moving train. <laughs> you know, standing still and seeing them in the woods is one thing, you know? I wouldn't expect a shaky photo then, but if you're on a moving train, I'd expect a shaky photo. They're on a train. I mean, like most things that... Yeah... Except I could believe in that. It's New Jersey, of course it's some demonic presence. That is the silhouette of a cockerel. <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> that is what that is. <laughs> that is a silhouette of a standing cockerel. The worst part is these people think they're smart. Yeah, this will convince him. That's a rooster. I mean, that's just a noodle. How do you know the Loch Ness Monster isn't just some big water noodle? That'll be a bird. There's not much convincing me of these things, dear. Slender. All right. Yeah, they're clearly not real, but, you know. How do you know you have to Because, <laughs> much like we discussed last time, if it's accepted as folklore or myth, you know, that, to the people of the day, was their urban legends, right? So to them it was real. To us, so many centuries removed, we're like, oh, that's cute. Our shit, like Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster, will just be regarded as folklore of the time by the people of the future, assuming there is one. And they'll have their own stuff to fantasize about. It's not like he's hitting on someone's missus outside a kebab shop, is it? You're not going to walk up to Bigfoot and go, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Big footprints. Yeah, I can try.
Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they're meant to be clever, is why they're looking for Bigfoot. Are they connected? Yeah. 
Get down the tender.
That's what I hope they want to battle. That's it. Just this last one, and then we can catch everything else. Is that missed five percent churn?
Oh, these gym leaders are being stingy as well. It's the squid again. Oh, mighty squid. <laughs> Is this turning into magic conch? Yeah, sure, why not? Am I an idiot for attempting this challenge? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is this entire thing gonna go down as peak gaming moment in my career? Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe? Sure. We'll go with that. The way I got Porygon with Pete Gaming Women. That's true. And the Lucky Egg. Mm -hmm. And the 1% Tauros on my first go through. <laughs> Emerald has not been quite as fortuitous. Actually, no, Kyogre and Groudon just kind of. Folded. <laughs> Not what any of us expected. No, yet the Reggies took two tries each. Output via your headphones. Just because it's connected doesn't mean it's using this yet. But... Yeah, it's using it. That's your sound output. It's an iPhone, it's never going to be simple. It is simple. <laughs> Ha 
Uh, well, Nick just purse uh, put his uh, Splatfest logic into the chat. He doesn't know who thinks a zombie is a good friend. They're prone to bite him. Skeletons Wait, are probably a good laugh, but a ghost is surely an ideal friend. They can like go through walls, think of the applications. To which I say, uh, hang on. Let me just find the right gift. There we go. It's a Splatfest. <laughs> Zombies, ghosts, and skeletons. Things you well, everybody likes a skeleton. <laughs> Unless you're a weird blob monster. You're once again asking someone with a Google phone how an iPhone works. I am the least helpful person you could possibly have around you right now. Nope, I am. Because at least you know how smartphones work. Yeah, I know how smartphones work. Um... I feel like that's a bit of a stretch, but we're gonna we're gonna go with it. Um, you actually have a smartphone. Just awesome. I've already had one blow up. If you will my PC into blowing up your replacement. Yeah, that's because card machines are, uh, you know, from the late 90s and probably haven't been updated. Technology does like to stay stan uh, stagnant once they've found their purpose. Yeah, I know. Thing is, once someone designed a card machine, no, <laughs> shut up. They, you know, it does one thing. Once it does that one thing, there's no need to upgrade it. So the tech in a card machine is largely the same as it was before I was born. Quite surprised in this modern age they just don't all collapse. I don't know how to connect them like that. I know where the Bluetooth is on my phone. It's a chip inside it.
It's why sending things over Bluetooth died a very quick death. You used to be able to send information over Bluetooth. 20 feet, dear. Not a fax machine. <laughs> Fax machine was just email before email. They do. Built into printers now. Yeah, the fax machine. Uh, the fax machine is just you ring them and say, "I hope this phone call finds you well." See attached document and it just pops out on the other side. We didn't go outside because it's been raining all day. Yes. Okay, your point. And now you're wishing for my very expensive PC to explode. <laughs> See if I can make him connect to my phone since you think that's going to be fixed the problem. You'll have to disconnect him from yours first. It's not like I haven't got other things to be doing. I'm a man, I can only focus on one thing at a time. Honest Ryborn confirmed. I have the mental capacity of the average rival, yeah. Good way of working on Right. Pair new device. Well, I can't wait for this to prove me right. Snowrun's level 42, isn't it? Uh, to evolve? Yes! Uh. Snow.
Oh boy, a swallow. <laughs> Shut up. I don't use yeah, iPhone. <laughs> Do I want to know what's going on? Dead, they work. Just you and your technology phobia. connected. <laughs> well clearly not. The only other thing I can think of is in whatever app you're using it's not set to recognize it. Because in an app you can choose what device it. Yes but in an app you use it. 
you can choose what device it outputs from. In case the audience doesn't know what's going on, this is Sean explained to his girlfriend that she doesn't know how to use Bluetooth. Right. Which is probably correct. It is correct. In any... In any app you use... So for instance, when I open Spotify on your phone, despite the fact the headphones were connected, it didn't automatically connect them because it wasn't set to connect them. <laughs> no, it's connected to your phone, it doesn't mean the app knows it's there. Jesus Christ. She really, she really is kind of dense, isn't she? <sighs> Light bends around her. All right. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm noticing. <laughs> right. I have no problem with it before. Until now. Today. Right, so. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay. <laughs> Bluetooth is magical ethereal thing, okay? It does the things that make the music go from one thing to another, right? <laughs> Somehow I don't think you do. Right? Your phone knows they're there. They know your phone is there. Right? They know it's there, your phone knows they're there, right? But just because it does that doesn't mean your apps are set up to use the headphones. Or just forget the device. Or you could just completely forget the device and repair it. <laughs> I mean, in the IT world, turn it off and on again tends to be the best response. Like at work. Oh, the till's running slow. Turn it off and on again. Why? You've run out of memory. Oh. What does that mean? Don't worry about it. Turn it off and on again. <laughs> Wait. The till ran out of memory? That's a that's a problem you have? What? Yeah, it, it's... I'm not entirely sure why. Your till has a memory leak? What? <laughs> I'm a gap. I'm aghast that such a thing that it, could it exist. It doesn't have a memory leak. What it, it has a set amount of RAM, and it stores up to okay. 10,000 transactions at a time. However, but it... once the transaction is complete, it just stores it as you know a receipt, basically. Oh, but it doesn't like actually. But get when the transaction is currently active, or if you have to store the transaction for later, it's taking up more RAM. So if a transaction can take, and this has happened before, well over fifteen hundred pound in items, oh, and not even okay. expensive items like relative, like stuff, like four trolleys worth of items. Mm -hmm. Every item you input will have a noticeably increasingly lengthy delay between scanning it and it turning up on the till. This this seems like a problem. It's a very rare problem. As in, I've seen it happen How? twice. In five years. Twice in, in five years, okay. Alright then. You need a lot to happen simultaneously for it to do that. Yes, and you just walked into the shop and the fire alarm went off. It's because you're hot. I'm not going to comment on that one. It feels like a bait. I'm slightly concerned that T-Rex has done that twice now. Well, two of the times where it's gone off has been right as he walks in the building, so I'm a little worried about that. Nothing. Then I have no idea. I diagnose this a mystery for another day. I diagnose you with dead. No, that's Danny when she goes ghost hunting at Halloween. Point is, you're going to be going around asking for dead people how they're doing 
and then go, I diagnose you with dead. <laughs> hey, what you need to think about it? The uh, technical problem. Could be you. Yeah, it could be you. However, it stops being a coincidence when it happens more than once, <laughs> so it stops being a coincidence when it happens more than once. It's because you're buying cheap power banks from work. <laughs> Actually, you raise a good point. It can't be just because you're buying them from work. Because where do you think I've got this TV? <laughs> In 2018. Surprised it hasn't died yet. You haven't had it long enough. As soon as your contract gets close to... <laughs> okay, then good, your phone is immortal. <laughs> Whereas if you were on a contract, it would start to suspiciously slow down and start to die. Yeah. Like mine did. Although mine died from constantly overheating because I work in a giant greenhouse. <laughs> I'm It's fine, dear. <laughs> I couldn't use an iPhone. Yes, it's because you've got small hands, but... Yeah, uh, idiots. I mean, my phone basically turns into a tablet. You know, the last time I've seen a phone roughly the size that you just in the 80s. <laughs> when you had to fucking pop out the antenna. <laughs> oh god. As it rises, so TV, yeah. Ah, interesting thing here, Danny. So phones throughout history have been getting smaller and smaller, right? Yes. And then around about the time, say about 2012, they realised you could watch porn on them. So they started getting bigger. It's not oh, a good that, that wasn't the uh, wasn't the sentence I was expecting to hear. But it ain't a coincidence. I'm like, I know what the end of the sentence is gonna be. I wasn't expecting the middle. That's just how it is, though. I want to say that there was another reason. <laughs> not like instead of. But like in addition to. Only thirty six tenths. <laughs> yeah. Out of unlimited. And then pop zero. Oh, and he's one of my minutes. I'm like, but I don't know who that is. <laughs> Doctor? No. Oh, I was grumpy yesterday. Huh. You rang your grandparents and it was only for a minute? <laughs> yes, I guided your grandmother back to her trolley. I expect to be put in the will now. <laughs> It's alright, half our staff lose their trolleys as well, because they often find them abandoned around the shop. Ah, oh, I type B&M into Wikipedia and your shame comes up. You. Yeah, it will. <laughs> what else can I? I wanted to see, like, does it mean anything else? Uh, Bondage Oh, and brick and mortar. Brick and mortar, that's what I was thinking of. Uh, that's not as funny as what we call it. Um... It's not as funny, but like... Every time I hear B and M, like I swear I've heard that acronym around yeah, somewhere and before. Water. Yeah, and I couldn't remember what it was until just now. Mm, nah, they're more kind of your thing. 
I don't need more reptiles. <laughs> Damn, son, where'd you find this? Okay, so what's left? So what's left? We have got... <sighs> Not including the two things we're ignoring because they're at the end of it, uh, Coliseum. Altaria, Claydol, Burnett, and Rayquaza. They're all in one place. Oh, oh right, yeah. I bet like a thousand Ultra Balls. Ah, uh, yes, because Apple has, via your iPhone, infected your third-party brand earphones. <laughs> and because they want you to buy AirPods, they're like, we're going to kill your Bluetooth headphones. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. me. No, it wouldn't surprise me either. However, I'm fairly sure that would get them sued. Like all the other shit they've done like that. I'm fairly sure they've learned the lesson. That sounds... Yeah, okay, that sounds about right. Man, I ain't judging. Looking for the weirdest thing that Lorden's Volt switch. A bit like his career. Getting gold switch is almost weird. My headphones are still going tonight. Yeah, I have got to. Yeah, that probably doesn't help. They do sound like that. It's him, my boy. That does not look like you in the morning. I've seen you in the morning. It's not blonde for a start. What, all eight of them? Alright, that's Claydol. Oh, I might have to engage the position. Behold, the mighty aubergine. Yeah. Well then. <laughs> Wait, do you have the correct bicycle? Yes. Okay, just checking. Why am I naming it Aubergine? The, that's a long story that for some reason is one of the few things I remember from the TV show. <laughs> I used to. If I Googled. That looks like me whenever someone speaks to me at work. <laughs> it turns out that Clay all hates eggplants and they escape just in time. Thanks, Google. these tablets you've got to take. Odds of these things are in here. I'm fairly sure Altaria is 6%. Also, 
Centauri is kind of rare, but I want to say it increases the higher you climb. Altaria starts showing up on... Oh, it's on the top floor. It is 6%, but it's only on the top floor. Define top floor. The fifth one. Where the dragon is or before the dragon? Right before it. Okay. There are there are no encounters uh, at the roof. Don't buy the airpods because they're a waste of money, dear. Good. When does Bannet start showing up? Uh, first and floor, fifteen percent. Yeah, okay, it's fifteen percent all the way up. Yeah, you can. You just ignore them. You don't even need headphones. You just ignore them. It's a skill, that is. That just reminds me of the Dilbert comic where they were pitching headphones, and one guy just like said they were noise canceling headphones and put them on, and the pointy out his boss says, "Do they work? What? Do they work? Does anybody have any questions?" Why not climb higher so you can actually maybe find the Altaria when you're looking for the Banat? That is true. Because we know we can't find the Altaria until we're at the top. Go to the Suez Canal again. Outside living by a river. It's alright, I've walked through that before. You don't see your legs. I can tell you that for free. That's normal when it rains. Live by river, expect flood. That tends to be the tends to be the rule. That's just universal. Yeah. It's going to take you someone to drown, it'll be a moral outrage. That's because you're short. <laughs> what the fuck is the pictures folder? That's yeah, top. It's a weird place to have it. <laughs> well, you're clearly not a dwarf. Dwarf like four seven or something, four eight. Stop laughing though. Yeah, I know you'd do that. Let's see, Altari isn't here. Altari isn't here, right. It's 
still no Bennett. Ringman played all his 25% and Sableye is 30%, alright. It's much higher than I was expecting it to be. Stay away from technology, for example. Yeah. When we move out, you're getting a little rotary phone. Rotary phone. Uh, in case she doesn't know what a rotary phone is. Oh dear. You know those old ones that have the dial on the front, you have to spin. Oh. <laughs> what, a better name than the rotary phone? Actually. A phone you have that rotates. <laughs> uh, I don't think there is. What was your ban it? There's my creepy possessed doll. I've got her attention. <laughs> it's a possessed doll. Our headphones boring. That almost worked. <laughs> oh, these headphones don't have enough pizzazz. They don't have sparklers coming out. Cat ears on the top. Heaven forbid. Oh god! God forbid she buys one with cat ears on the top. The headphones just sound weird. Alright, let's get the dragon. Well, the fluffy one. 6%. Yeah. Unfortunately, they don't sell headphones individually. <laughs> One headphone, my good man. <laughs> then again, you don't exactly go out for a trouser, do you? Here's a thought that's just occurred to me, which probably should worry someone. Oh god, a thought occurred to you. Yeah, a thought it occurred to me. Panic. So. Sorry. Continue. Tr trousers, right? Is a singular item. Yes? Yes. Okay. You would therefore have a trouser, or trou- No, I'm not, I'm not I'm not- I'm not going here. <laughs> However, I've you been have here a, before and I'm not going here again. No, but then you have a trouser press. A press for a trouser. But it's not called a trouser, it's called trousers.
What does trouser actually mean? I don't actually know. <laughs> pear is in the fruit, or... Oh, two pairs of pillowcases, that means it comes with... Hang on. <laughs> two pairs of pillowcases would imply four pillowcases. No, you just said two pairs. Two pairs is four. <laughs> okay, a pair is two. God, the reading comprehension of most people these days is shocking. It's a fruit that gets very messy very quickly. Uh, Hot damn, this tastes good. Okay, I'm glad Actually, I'm glad. I found out that depends on where in the world you live. Apparently, like, Europe has sour pears, which is strange. Oh, okay. So, of course, the English language has an answer for this. Yes, so... The word trousers and pants are pluralia tantum, nouns that generally only appear in plural form, because, god damn it, we can't have any rules in this language. Much like the word scissors and tongs, and as such, a pair of trousers is usually the correct form, however, the singular form is used in some compound words. So do you oh think god, I, I forgot about the word scissors. <laughs> yeah, so is it a scissor? But scissor is a verb. Scissor is a verb. Okay, that, I, I guess that makes sense. So our language is so bass aquas, we had to come up with a rule of plural only. Then again, a singular scissor would just be a knife <laughs> with a handle. Oh, like a... And yeah, most knives have handles. A singular tong would just be like a scoop, kind of. Yes, they just name things in Pearl because there's two of them? Maybe. It means there's an alternate universe where we didn't. Okay, tongs. The word for tongs in the Romance language just appears to be like pincers. Okay. I mean, that's what they are, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, some people don't even wear trousers, and worry me, they're the people who probably should. I don't wear trousers, but I have an excuse. <laughs> Wearing trousers here would be... impractical. <laughs> ah, sleep headphones. That's a beanie. It's a Bluetooth band. It's a beanie. I know what, I know what sleep headphones are, but I that's don't a know that's a balaclava. How does that work? You're not walking around wearing a beanie over your ears. <laughs> it lasts for ten hours. Okay. Uh, Here's the thing. People in the UK 
Do people in the UK still, like, do they, have they ever used the word pants to refer to trousers? Have we ever used pants to refer to trousers? The word pants to refer to trousers, yes. Yeah. Huh? Um... We typically use it to refer to underwear. Yeah, that's that's usually what I see. Because this is a, this is part of why I don't use the word pants at all. Because if I'm talking to someone here, the word pants refers to trousers. But if I'm talking to someone in, in the UK, the word pants refers to underwear. So I just don't use that. I just don't use the word. Danny just chimed up with, and socks are just called socks. Yes, because I'm fairly sure. Americans call them socks, and we call them toes, look at this. Yes, there's also two of them. You clearly separate. This is a singular sock. Part of me is tempted to look up regional terms for socks, but at the same time, I don't think I want to. Foot pantalon. Alright, sock. Covering for the foot. What's it called in other language? <laughs> Can we finally come to the end of this adventure? I am two Pokemon away from finishing, and while trying to find the last random one, we're discussing regional variances on socks. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we've got to. Okay, this is funny. Wiktionary lists two word, like two Spanish words for socks. But, like, the countries in which they're used are just completely different. So it's almost like the word sock is just, like, completely divided okay, the Spanish-speaking world, too. I see... It says that calcetin is the word for sock in Chile, El Salvador, Guatemala, the Honduras, Mexico, Nicaragua, and Spain. And media is the word for it in Costa Rica, Cuba, Dominica, Panama, the Philippines, Puerto Rico, and everywhere else in South America. So it's like, wow, you just... Completely divided the Spanish-speaking world over socks. <laughs> I'm surprised that's all. French also has two words for socks, but it's nowhere near as interesting. It's like they have one word for sock, and then like the Canadians have another word for sock. Of course, the French have one word for sock, and then the Canadians had to go along and say, "Ah, but we speak traditional French." Unlike the people of France. <laughs> Whatever the think, fuck that means. I think my favorite thing about Canadian French is that they use, like, um, church sacraments as swear words. Fucking Chinese. I can't fucking read that. It's Chinese. What? I can't speak Tencent. I can't believe you just said that. Don't answer that. I don't speak Genshin Impact. <laughs> Can you believe that? Unfortunately, so you don't, un unfortunately, so you don't speak TikTok. TikTok is Chinese. I don't speak TikTok. Okay. There you go. <laughs> she got that one. TikTok's Chinese, yeah. TikTok. And because of that, TikTok is just outright banned in several countries. Pose. Sock, stocking, and hose. Those are three very different things. Bobby socks. Bobby socks? What? How 50s is that? What the fuck is a bobby sock? A bobby women's sock? ankle socks. I just looked it up, it's women's ankle socks. Half what? Hose. <laughs> Half hose. Oh, that's a. Half hose. Okay. I guess that's referring to pantyhose? Bobby Socks has come up with a person. <laughs> Bobby Socks is the person? Of course it is. Then we get a country musician. A Norwegian pop duo. A Norwegian pop duo. Eh, they're not too dissimilar. Yeah, they're Norwegian. <laughs> well, that's what I'm calling it. It's Altaria. Altaria. <laughs> Pantyhose? Pantyhose. <laughs> I know how to spell panty. 
I'll double check. Because <laughs> one's right, <laughs> one's another time for a whore. The only thing I'm not sure about is if it's one or two words. Right. I'm gonna look. I'm pretty sure it's one word, but I'm going to check. Hang on. Wait. 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 Okay. So. The way I just spelt it, which involves H-O-E-S, is an adult visual novel on Steam. <laughs> and no. a thing on AliExpress. Whereas I believe the correct way of doing it is I was supposed to be listed on eBay. Um, H O S E. So yeah. I'm supposed to spell it. Hey, wait, hang on. I, I typed in pantyhose. <laughs> Spelt the wrong way. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and the first suggested response is pantyhose spelt the correct way in bulk. This makes sense, but I'm trying to figure out why. Oh, I can think of an easy way for you to remember. Uh, you know how to spell later hosen, right? Oh, I know how to spell later hosen, yeah. It's the exact same thing. Yeah, you can't bike up here, I don't think. That said, you want to save your game, obviously. Yeah, I want to save, just because... 62 hours, Jesus. <laughs> That's actually pretty impressive. This might be the longest thing we've ever done. Are you sure? I'm trying to think of something that's longer. <laughs> I realized you, you told me about East 8, but that was 50 hours for you. It took me 70. Alright, is it black? No, okay. It's what? Hold your fire! <laughs> Jesus. No, I'm gonna ice beam it and see what happens. This wow. It didn't click outrage, it just delete you. Alright, the final Pokemon we have to catch in this game. We could have done this as soon as we dealt with Kyogre and Groudon in the main story. You can literally just come here and catch a level 70 Rayquaza just before you've even done the 8th gym. I think you're supposed to... I think you have to do... No, you don't. Huh, okay. You can just go get it. I thought you had to beat the 8th gym and then you could go get it. It might be that. I know you can have this thing before you even start. No, it's not gross. Path. What the hell? We just had a heat wave. No. Fucking snow. <laughs> I mean, that makes a snom fan in me happy. Better not be snow when I go away. I'm gonna say, if there's snow and it hits the ghost, they're gonna be a little obvious. It was bad for October. Oh, there we go. It's clicking the delete button. I've got to be predicting Yoko's snow survive. until July. If Yokozuna survives this hit, I'll be very surprised. Hmm, same. I'll be pleased, but I'll be very surprised. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> he survived a nine. Oh, what a chad. When it says Scotland's getting snow, it means probably the fucking northern tip of Shetland. Christ. Yeah, but 
Yeah, it's part of the UK, technically. It's not lying. Yes, there will be snow in the UK. No, it says in the UK at some point there will be snow. Which is part of the UK, therefore it is not wrong. They want you to click the article for the ad revenue. <laughs> so, uh, Sean, now do you understand why I get mad whenever someone says there's X in the US? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I'm like, okay, what part? <laughs> Well, the meteorologists aren't going to be able to tell you when exactly something's going to fall from the sky, can they? Yeah. I mean, that is their job. Yeah, it says UK Arctic France, and it's just for Scotland. It's yeah, funny, that the bit closer to the Arctic, whereas we're closer to France. We're so close to France, we can smell the fucking cheese. Oh, <laughs> Huh. I should remember that one. I do, because I chose violence. The, the strat is to, like, live and hope you get the catch before it decides to click outreach. See? Funny thing is, France It never hit itself in confusion once. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely horrific, and I dislike it very much. It's... Disgusting and yet also really funny. Who the hell is Joe Malone? I don't know. Is it like any relation to Post Malone or? Is it? Is it? Well, no, 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 no. Hang on, wait. Uh -huh. I've got an answer for this, right? So you've got pre Malone, current Malone. Oh no. Post no. Malone. You got Joe Mama Malone. <laughs> Why are we doing this? <laughs> and then we have Post Malone B. <laughs> Post Malone V, Post Malone V Max. <laughs> there is no V Max, but that would be funny. <laughs> I don't even remember the other two. I just remember Post Malone. <laughs> is he actually a cop? Uh, yeah, they they made a promotional card of it. That or an image, I'm actually not sure. Ooh, oh baby, oh Ooh, he's okay. Frozen. Oh, he's frozen. Oh, he's frozen. Okay, hang on, wait. Not, not, not. Oh. Well, did it click fucking sacred fire? <laughs> Twenty percent smiley face. All right, so Yokozuna can take an outrage with a roll. It survived on nine. I'm pretty sure it's a roll. <laughs> It's like watching a skitty fight a Cloudser. <laughs> Except I've got six skitties. <laughs> and that's a big Cloudser. <laughs> yep. That was just dead ass of the fight. With a high roll, he could just delete me on turn one, and there was nothing I could do about it. I have What's that. Ugh. I'm not cold blooded. Really? You can throw Pokeballs at flying Pokemon in this game. Gen 4 was the first game to not let you do that anymore. Oh, come on, Rayquaza, be cool. The other two were. Speaking of 
speaking of Rayquaza indirectly the animation for the move Outrage in black and white 2 is unusually aggressive the entire screen becomes a sea of flames oh yeah it does isn't it yeah. The only reason I remember that is because of fucking Black Hero. I remember that mostly because of Haxorus, who also has a habit of using it. I mean, that is kind of Haxorus's bread and butter. Come in, Dragon Dance. And it's on. And then either Dragon Claw or, uh, depends on how heavily you want to live versus how much you want something else to die. Yeah, there was no in between with that thing. <sighs> Attempt number three! Under 50 attack, baby! Best place like to retire. Yeah, sure. Okay, out of curiosity, I've, out of curiosity, next time have you considered going into the fight with Mizutsune at full health and not paralyzed? Also, Ooh, nice. That is a one hell of a roll that I am not too comfortable with. Uh, <laughs> that's spicy. <laughs> Break out the floor restore gamer. <clears throat> How are you out? Don't answer that. No, I'm not gonna answer that. You have an answer. Oh gosh. All right. Oh, we're now playing a dangerous game. Um. Uh, I forgot Milefix Special Events is just like this big. That is a dangerous game. Okay. Absolutely nothing. Uh, how to make this as painless as possible? Well, I think Rikasa has the same body type as Squid. It does a bit, actually. Alright, turn one rest again, I probably just gotta kill itself. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, if I can get it into the red and freeze, that'd be good. That'd be nice. How the hell is it speed tight? Don't worry about it. <laughs> what? Well. Cool. Okay, it's gonna be a long one. I thought this was going too well. Uh, now we know why. Do it this time. God, that makes me nervous. Yeah, if it wants to use rest. Oh, God. Alright. It's up to the rolls now. Taking all bets, does it off itself? <sighs> no, but it really needs to fucking click rest right about now. Hang on. Click fly and miss. I just need it to not kill itself. Keep losing. Well, I don't. It does. It's just a game. All right. <laughs> it's only a game where you have to be mad. Oh, uh, that would that brought back a funny memory. It's only a game. I saw that when that fucking Starfield Pro Dance guy was going around. <laughs> I was like, oh, yes, really? We're bringing back the classics. <laughs> He's only That's game. Why I think you uh, that man was so sweet. I feel like the best opening to this fight is that kind of damage, and it freezes. Or that kind of damage, it uses rest. Don't give me hope. 
Holy shit. <laughs> I was like... Snap back as I heard the th three wiggles. I'm like, is this the dream? Is this it? <laughs> Can I finally close this game down since I'm done with Coliseum? Oh, the good news is it's not clicking outrage. <laughs> it's also not clicking rest. And the longer it doesn't click rest, the more nervous I am. Okay. There's no shot in hell. Please click rest. Click flight and miss. Is that someone taking my suggestion? That never happens. It's got its entire fight without using rest. I feel like I might be at the point where a timer ball starts being effective. 40 turns? We ain't that far yet. This Gen 3 timer ball is actually trashed. Ugh. Alright, we're no longer at the point where it's killing me, it's now killing itself. I'm not even sure anymore. I'm not sure. Ah, uh, right. Attempt number, what is this? You were counting? Uh, I was. After three, I stopped. I, I sure wasn't. You know what? There was going to be a legendary at some point in this entire challenge. It was going to be a bitch. It may as well be this one. Fair enough. The main event. Right, I'm just going to chuck balls until it takes rest. Which point I'll ice beam again. Oh, now it's doing it. Alright, if this goes down into the red, that is like pretty much the best we're going to get. Also, this is one hell of a roll. Yeah, it is. Like, it's from... Two thirds to nearly dead.
Please just click rest again. To the red, it'd be good. What the hell do I call the Rayquaza? <laughs> um... That's a good question. I'm not calling it socks, it's got no feet. <laughs> um... Doodle. That's the first thing that came to my head and I'm not sure why. Ooh, no, I don't have to call it. Nani? Oh, the nope rope. It's right, the, it's of course. the nope rope. <laughs> <laughs> that makes too much sense, yes. So that should be, with the exception of Metagross and Tyranitar, because I'm being lazy, and it's also just more efficient. Everything. So let's move some stuff, shall we? This clay doll goes in. Required. Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel, Roma, Jet, Ocean Man, Ocean Man, Reagan, and Nope. Careful nature. Plus special defense, minus special attack. Eh. <laughs> eh. Yeah. In Gen 3, bad. In every other Gen, good. Alright. So. That should put us at 361. We are 19 away, and those 19 are. Metagross, which will be. the end of Colosseum. Tyranitar at the end of Colosseum. Raikou and Entei in Colosseum, because I'm not playing through Fire and Leaf Green two more times. Uh. Delibird. Colosseum, Quillfish, Colosseum, Dunsparce, Colosseum, Murkrow, Espeon, Umbreon, and the Johto Stars. So 
So what we're going to do is we're going to sit down at the table with dear old mother. Okay, so... Next thing we're going to do in Pokemon is Colosseum. Get the last 19 things. Beat the game. Send them over. Do the last little bit of breeding we're going to have to do. And then... We're done. We will actually be done. It's going to feel good, isn't it? It's got to feel good. 380, and if I'm right... Not having Mew, Ho-Oh, Lugia, Jirachi, and Deoxys and Celebi will still let us get the diploma. So, That's correct, yes. as far as the game's concerned, we'll be done. Sick. Okay, so that's the end of Emerald. Temporarily. Uh... We're going to have a couple of Breaver games starting tomorrow. And then we're into Colosseum. Which is uncharted territory. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs>